Hello YouTube, who would win in a fight? The Mac Mini M1 or this little tiny Nook Panther Canyon i7? I don't know, let's find out. Anyway, I'm David Harry and by who would win in a fight, what I really meant to say was, which one of these two little beasties here will win in an Enco test? So what I'm gonna do here is take a video file and then I am going to throw it onto both of these computers. I will then use the same software to encode and also the same encoding codec. So what I'm gonna be using is Handbrake and I will be using X265 to encode the file. So this is going to be exactly like for like as far as the software and the codec being used for the encoding on both of the machines. Now let's see who can do it the fastest. Okay, so for the first part of the testing, I will do the Nook. Now what I'm gonna do here is spend a little bit more time on the Nook test as opposed to the Mac test, because while I'm doing the Nook one now, I'm going to explain a bunch of technical things which I then don't have to repeat myself on on the Mac one so the Nook one will be a bit longer because of that so technical thing number one and that is the media that I'm using here is hosted on an external drive this external drive is a Samsung T7 this T7 and the USB-C interface and on both the Nook and the Mac is well capable of data rates well in excess of the actual bitrate requirement for the data that I'm looking at. Hence, what's happening here is there is absolutely no chance whatsoever of bottlenecking due to data bandwidths. That's the boring thing all done out the way with as far as the driver is concerned. Now, as far as the actual file is concerned, it is 4K UHD. 24 frames per second, 10 bit 420 chroma subsampling, and at 100 megabits per second. Now, Windows will confirm bits of this for us. So, there we go 4K, let's see, 24 frames per second. There's some of the bits and pieces down here. Unfortunately, Windows isn't really that good sometimes. I kind of like identifying bit rates and things, and it's not going to tell us there either the uh, the chroma subsampling or the bit depth. However, it is 10 bit 420 chroma subsampling. So, that is the source file. Now, Getting into Handbrake, the first thing I'm going to do here is just show you, if I go to check for updates, this is just gonna be checking here for updates, just to show you that I'm on the latest version on Windows, which is 1.3.3, and all these numbers right after it. Oh, come on, Handbrake, oh, there you go. <laughs> right, there are no new updates at this time. Okay, so basically, this is the most up-to-date version. Now, as far as this section here with dimensions is concerned, as we can see, it's saying the source is 4K and the output is also 4K. I don't have any cropping going on or anything like that. Once again, all this stuff will get replicated with the Mac, so it is exactly apples to apples, shall we say. Now, there are no chapters, there are no subtitles, Audio is just on its basic 320 kilobits per second. There are no filters whatsoever. And so now to the yummy stuff, and that is the all this stuff to do with like, you know, the video parameters and whatnot. Oops, sorry, a jump cut. I had to answer my phone. Sorry about that. However, we are on video. So let me just go through all the parameters here. So as far as the codec option is concerned, we are using H.265, which is quite often referred to as HEVC. Also, this is at 10 bit. Now I am going to be using 10 bit because I need to stress this out like mad, really push it so we can see if there are any subtle differences with the time taken between the Nook and the Mac, or whether there's a huge time difference. I don't know because I've never even done this test before, but we will find out. And also, so as far as the encoder is concerned, I am using X265 as well. So just to be clear, the codec is H.265 and the encoding technology for the codec is X265. Okay, we'll get that out the way. Now I am using constant frame rate because variable frame rate is an absolute piece of useless garbage. Uh, encoder preset, I'm gonna have this on fast. Now, when it says fast, 
it ain't going to be fast in this context because this is going to be a serious number crunching thing that this is about to do, so it won't be fast. However, I will use the fast preset just to speed it up at like more than what it could go on for. Um, let's see. Encode the tuning. I'll have that at none, and encode the profile and level are all going to be set to auto. Now, as far as the bit rate is concerned, I'm going to use a fixed bit rate at 100,000 kilobits per second i will also do that without a first pass so this is just going to be the encoder pass which in all honesty is the only real thing that we're bothered about now just to be quick and clear about this the reason why i'm not doing a two pass or any other various things here is because this is a speed test Doing two pass and messing around with the bitrate will give us our optimized bitrate and quality or trade off for bitrate and quality. This particular test has nothing to do with quality. It is about speed. So setting the Mac and also the Nook to be exactly the same and see which one performs the job quicker. Okay, so with all that stuff out the way with, I am going to encode this to, let's see, the desktop. So let me get that out the way. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is just click Start here. So this is gonna go off and this will take an absolute age just to do one minute. Oh yeah, this is another thing, have I, have I said so far, this is a one minute file. So what we're doing here is obviously timing how long it takes to do a one minute file. Now what I'm gonna do shortly is just speed through this and come in at the last 10 seconds, just so we can see what's happened as far as this is concerned. But again, just to be clear, Everything that has gone on here right now is going to be done exactly the same with the Mac. And the reason why I can say this is apples to apples comparison, and yes, that was a crummy pun intended. The reason why I can definitely say that this is like for like and apples to apples is purely because the encoding technology itself is identical on both platforms. So the use of X265 is what levels this whole thing out. So what we are doing here is basically seeing which one has got the better processing ability when it comes to using a software encoder. So there's no hardware being used here, such as say quick sync and what have you. This is a pure test of the processor's ability on the Nook and on the Mac using X265 as the encoding codec. Okay, so with that said, let me blast through this. I'll come in at the last 10 seconds. We'll finish this off, then I'll jump into the Mac. Okay, so I'm just gonna come in at the end here and count this down. So seven minutes, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46. Oh, when's it gonna stop? Hold on, so that's 750, 51. What it is, time remaining is halted. Oh, so what was that? Oh, wait a minute, right. I'm just gonna have to re-look back at that in the edit. I will now flash on the screen what that end time was. It was around seven minutes, 50 odd, something like that. So let me just flash it on the screen because I missed it. Okay, so that is exactly how long it took to do one minute worth of encoding with these parameters. And let's just have a quick look at the file here. So properties is telling us it's 722 megabytes in size. Now, if I have a look at the original, the original 723. So actually that's very, very close considering that both of them were set to the same bit rate. And don't forget, this isn't some kind of smart encode, it is a re-encode. So um, we've got like, what, one megabyte difference there between doing one to the other at 100 megabits. So that's actually pretty interesting and, and actually I think that's really good. Okay, now what I'm gonna do here, just for anybody who's interested, is just to play this. However, the reason why I'm saying that this is not a, a test for quality or file sizes because file size is going to be down to what somebody else feels that they can get away with. Some people want bigger files because they want absolute quality. Other people want smaller files and they're prepared to put up with like a little bit of degradation in the picture. So it is very subjective. And as for what does it look like, the problem with that, we get like tons of concatenation going on here from like one video file being multiple encoded and multiple like, you know, replays and all the rest of it until YouTube finally does the version that you look at. But 
nonetheless let me play the file for those who would want to know what it looked like and there we go now the other thing you have to bear in mind here as well is that the capture process that i'm using may not be actually doing the frame rate correctly here as i'm looking at this this looks perfectly smooth however it may not be playing back smooth because the capture process may have mucked it up a little bit and the capture process in this instance isn't bothered about video quality we just need to see what we've seen actually on the desktop and see the actual thing running as far as the test is concerned okay so as we can see i'm now onto the mac now i'm going to go through a bunch of stuff as quick as i can here just so that we can see that we are doing like for like and everything is set up on the mac as it was on the nook so what i'm going to do is just show you there's my t7 drive also there's the file that we used on the nook so that's still still the same source file that's being used on the mac okay now on the mac let me just go to handbrake here so about handbrake as you can see here we are on version 1.3.3 once again this is the very latest version of handbrake that is available for mac just as i done with the nook used the very latest version so once again as much like for like as possible okay so as far as the file is concerned the file is 4k uhd in and 4k uhd out just as it was on the nook in fact everything is exactly as it was on the nook and as far as cropping is concerned there is none okay so filters once again there are no filters chapters there are no chapters i mean this is saying one here that's just the start so there's no chapters subtitles there are none audio we are on 320 kilobits once again for the audio now as far as video is concerned we are on h.265 for the codec at 10 bit and we are once again using x265 as the encoder also we are using same as source once again for frame rate which basically means we're going 24 frames in 24 frames out again we are on constant frame rate also as far as the encoder options are concerned we're using fast again just so we're matching it all the same and again for tune there is none and profile and level are set to auto and once again as well i'm doing a single pass average bitrate and that is going to be an average bitrate of 100,000 kilobits per second once again I am also putting this to the desktop just so it's easier to find at the end and I can get at it quickly. Okay, now one other thing here just before I start the encode. The problem with the, the Mac version of Handbrake, it doesn't actually tell you how long the encode took at the end down at the bottom nice and conveniently like it does on the Windows version. So what I've got here is a stopwatch. So I'm going to use a stopwatch to time the encode. So I'm going to hit start and then hit start up here. And then at the end, I will just like stopped the stopwatch once we see that countdown kind of disappear at the end i've got a feeling as well what it does on the mac it does the same thing at the end it holds on a number now i'm going to come back in roughly 10 seconds from the end or thereabouts and then we'll see how we get on so let me just do this quickly so start and start Okay, so I'm going to come in here because I haven't got a clue when that 18 seconds is going to disappear off the ETA there. So let me get ready to pause this as soon as that disappears. So this is a little bit like the PC, as in it doesn't do you the end time properly. Right, hold on. Sorry about this. I'm going to just have to hang on until it goes. Oh, come on. Is this ever going to do it? Right, hold on, that's at 18 seconds. This feels a bit longer than 18 seconds. <laughs> oh, there we go. Okay, so 10 minutes and 38 seconds. So let's let's knock a second off that or two seconds. Let's call that 10 minutes and 36 seconds. And just because I did it before, here is the file up here. Let's have a quick look at the file size. So it is 771.8 megabytes in size. Let's have a little quick look at it. So there we go, it's just gonna start playing there in the background. Okay, so as this video is just playing in the background there, let us look at the two main figures here. So the Nook did it in seven minutes and 53 seconds, and the Mac M1 took 10 minutes and 36 seconds. So what we're looking at here are two devices, doing the exact same job 
with the exact same encoder and both doing it using just their CPU elements and no hardware video acceleration. And as you can see there, the NUC massively beat the Mac in this particular encode test. So did anybody find this a surprise? Because if I've got to be honest, I actually thought the Mac was gonna well beat the NUC. But let me know what you've thought of this in the comments section to this video. And if you've liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. Also consider subscribing to my channel and getting all over that bell notification icon. I'm David Harry. Thank you very much for watching this video. Take care and goodbye now.